In this video, I'm just going to show you very simply how the different ways that you can apply color to objects uh, in a InDesign document. So first I'm going to create a, a, an object. So I've got my um, rectangle tool selected and I'm going to draw a sort of a square. And so now we have the bounding box which you can see, but if you look up here, this is one of the areas here up here in the control panel where you can affect the color of the object that's selected. So here you see there's a, a no fill in or no color in the fill or no fill and no stroke. So if we want to apply a fill, all we have to do is click on that and we get whatever swatches that we have currently available. So I'm just going to click on one and now you can see the object fills. Ignore that. Um, and then still selected that object, I can then go and apply a stroke. And even though it says it's zero po points, this is this applies to the stroke, uh, this little drop down right here. When I do pick a color, it will automatically jump to one. You probably saw that. So it automatically jumped to one, but you can't hardly see it on the object. It's so thin. So I'm going to increase the stroke just by clicking the up button. I can also use the drop down and say, okay, I want a 10 point stroke. And now you see I have a stroke. So that's one way to apply color by using the color controls up in the control bar. You can also affect how your stroke looks by using the drop down in that same area. So I can I can change uh, it's not selected so it doesn't I can't tell, but um, I can change the stroke. So now you can see if I click away I've got a kind of an interesting effect there. Another area that I can use to control my uh, the fill and stroke of an object. I'm going to draw another object here. So let's just draw, a, I'm sorry, a sphere or a circle. All right, so I have a circle here. Now down here in the lower part of the, oops, I'm sorry, the lower part of the um, toolbar, you can see that you, you have the color pickers there as well. So I'm going to go back and select my original sphere that I accidentally created another one, but and I'm going to do the same thing that I did up in the control bar, but now on the tool panel I'm going to do that. So I'm going to double click on the stroke window and I'm just going to pick a color. And now I pick a color, I can also add that to my swatch list. So I'm going to do that because I want a purple. I'll show you how that works in a second. Alright, so I've now I've you can see I've if you look over on the bottom of the toolbar, you can see now my stroke is purple. Uh, it's so little, you can't see it. Then I usually go back up to the control bar and increase that. And then I can also, if by double clicking on the fill button, pick another color. And, that, and there we go. That's another way I can apply the colors. And let's view that without, I'm sorry, without the, uh, the bounding boxes you can see. It has that same here. Let's pick it again. Let's put it back to a solid line. You can see it a little bit better. And then you also have the swatches panel that you can also use. So I'm going to again draw a shape. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to put this back to solid. And then I'm going to open up my stroke panel. And in my stroke panel you can see um, I'm sorry, my swatches panel. You can see at the top of the swatches panel uh, the same sort of thing you see in the tool at the top bottom of the toolbar. And so I can select the first, the top one, or the, my fill one, whichever one I select will pop up to the top. I don't know if you can see that on your little tiny monitor, but it does. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and click that. And so that was my fill. And then I'm going to click the stroke icon and I'm going to put something there. 
and then I can either go to up here in the control panel and make it bigger or I can go to the stroke panel which has a bunch of other things that I'll cover in another video but I can increase it there. So that's the three easy ways that you can affect the color of both your fills and your strokes of any objects that you have on your document page.